Hello everyone. Uh, in the last video, we have discussed about the pap smear or the pap test, but I think the quality was not that clear. So I'm making a short review of that again. Hope it will be helpful to you. So in the pap smear, or that is also known as the pap test, this is the test that is mainly used to diagnose the cancer, which is the most common cause of, which is the most common cancer in women, that is cervical cancer. And the second most common is the breast cancer. This pap smear detects the abnormalities in the cells of cervix. And it can also detect the early stage, that is the precancerous stage of cancer in cervix. So the screening of cervical cancer is mainly done by the pap smear test. That means that pap smear is the best screening test of cervical cancer. Whereas biopsy is the confirmatory test for cervical cancer. And HPV test that is human papilloma virus test. Human papilloma virus is the virus that is the causative agent of cervical cancer. If you are doing this test then this also is a screening test for cancer. HPV is not a, a confirmatory test because HPV can also be the causative agents of any other kind of infection as well so the pap test that is that we are using for the screening test of cervical cancer we do it in women of reproductive age or the age of sexually active age group that is from 30 years to 65 years or more precisely we can also do it from 21 years to 65 years then it has to be done every three three yearly but if you are combining pap test with HPV test then it can be done in every five years then the next question arises that how it is done how the pap smear is done so whenever you are doing any procedure first of all you have to explain the procedure to the patient here also we will be explaining the procedure to the patient along with that we will be providing privacy to the patient because we are giving lithotomy position to the patient then we are going to insert the sims speculum or alternatively many in many places or many gynecologists use Cusco's speculum as well to visualize the vagina or to visualize the mouth of the cervix that is the external loss of the cervix and you need a AV detractor to retract the anterior vaginal walls then see this is the pap kit that is used here you are going to see this is a sterile pap kit but uh, in the last video also I had used it so this is open. Here you will be getting these three four things. First one is this is the Ayers spatula. See this is the Ayers spatula that you are going to use to take the cervical cells from the external os of the cervix. Uh, if you imagine this to be the os of the cervix then you have to put it here near the mouth of the os of the cervix and you can take the sample from here and once you take the sample on the iris spatula you need to take your slide this is the slide that is provided with the uh, kit and you have to rub your sample rub your iris spatula against this slide to make the cells set on this slide so this is the way you are going to use this IS spatula. Now the next thing that we will use is this brush. We are going to use this soft brush. See, you can see how soft it is. This is also to be rubbed near the mouth of the external loss of the cervix like this. And then you have to rub it along the slide. You have to rub this also along the slide like this. And when you rub both these things, when you use both these things, the IRS spatula and the brush, then you have to put this slide into the coplic jar. This is the coplic jar, for example, this is how the coplic jar looks and it has got five compartments into it in which you can slide one of these slides here like this. And before sliding, you have to name the slide with your... Uh, patient identification number or patient's name or whatever is the unique identification number of that patient you have to write here and put it into the coplic jar and this way you can take the 
pap smear now you have got this uh, uh, this uh, cotton tipped applicator also here this can be used to send any kind of culture if you want to send like if you see there is pus collection into the cervical loss or any abnormalities there then you can take the sample of that pus from this cotton tipped applicator and you can send it for culture okay so these are the things that are present in the pap smear kit hope this time it is um, visible clearly so these are the things that are present in the pap smear kit a slide a soft brush is spatula and cotton tipped applicator hope this was helpful and if any doubts are there then kindly ask them thank you